hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hello all you <coughs> hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big Porky here. Still the voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> Stop me way into office. And my, my voice is gone. So, uh, so bear with me. Tire pressure. Is it sensor fitted on car? Jesus. Have a three nights out cheaper than what they charge. I go through tire pressure sensors left and right in the centre. Now I've done a video for a couple of days because I've been a bit of crap. Voice has gone, I think. I think I'll go this way. Out the way. Uh, uh, what are we going to say now? The gentleman, or whoever you are, I don't really care, but ringing up the factory, threatening to burn it down. If you think, right, that that is going to stop, if you think that that's going to get my backers to kick me out of that office, well, all it's done is. Go look at the website now on YouTube. We've put the name on in association, so that was their idea. So if anything, what you've done, you've made the relationship stronger. <laughs> you've made the relationship stronger because they now understand what I have to do, what I'm going through, the trolls and stuff. So thank you very much, whoever you are. You did me a big favour, massive, so thank you very much. So, what sort of person does that in a place where women work? So, luckily I wasn't there, but more than likely it'll be a cop job. No, I wouldn't have done it that way, but when you're threatening to burn factories down on telephone, uh, where there's innocent people working, what can I do? I don't own the factory. So, and it, they're not going to kick me out. Like I said, if anything, I'm in a stronger position now, but now they know. So, I wonder if that's the same person who tried to break in a week ago at the back, and the same person that broke the mailbox. I don't know. <laughs> Most things are done by email, so all you got were them pizza de delivery leaflets. <laughs> I don't know, I'm unbeatable, Anna. Unbeatable. But the sheer fact that people are going out of the way, spending time to try and derail the Porky Express, well, and now we're taking advice from Jim Pie Security. So, shout out to Jim Pie Security Limited from uh, Northwest. How are you doing, Jim? I hope you're well. To do security for industrial estates, commercial houses, close protection, close security protection, all that kind of thing, bodyguard work. Hope you're well, Jim. Nice to speak to you yesterday. Hope you're well. Look forward to seeing you at the show. So, the boxing community comes together when terrible things happen. Jim will be coming to Mink Wales next show. So, it'll be well, Jim. But yeah, sort of person does that. Don't put no more videos out mentioning Joe Gallagher. Or, we're going to burn your factory down. Oh my God. Hey. That person probably got up that morning and said, do you know what I'm going to do today? I've just got up, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to, I'm going to ring that place at where Porky Russ's office is and I'm going to 
ask him if they know him. If they say yeah, then I'm going to say, you better not put any more videos out. Or we're going to burn the factory down. That's what I'm going to do today. And then later on in day, I'm going to pretend to be Porky on Facebook and Twitter. Well, I'm not on Facebook and Twitter. So anybody pretending to be me, it ain't me. So a person does that. Not exactly brains of Britain, are you? Doing it on a phone. Well, if you've done it on a phone, you're in trouble, aren't you now? I'll be getting a statement, but if you've done it on a phone, you're in trouble. If you've done it on a phone box, you might not be in trouble. But if you've done it on a phone, whether you withheld it or not, then people there won't mess about. They're running a business there, aren't they? Multi-million pound business. They don't want people, trolls ringing up, messing about. Because when police grab you, you're just gonna go, it's only banter, it's only banter, it's only banter. I just don't like his videos. I'm a Joe Gallagher fan. What can you say to that? When you're making threats like that, and they've got people, managers with no criminal record putting statements in. What are you gonna do? You've been silly, haven't you, whoever you are, so just behave yourself and grow up a little bit. Or, come see me at Dennis's show, two weeks, 21st of Feb. Come and see me if you've got a problem. You mind ringing up? I mean, it starts out knocking on door and running off, and then you're ringing up. What happens after that? Hey? Eh? I don't know. I don't know where society's going. Whatever happened to people giving their opinion, just saying it in front of a camera like me. Hey? No, they can't be happy with that, can they? They've got to go around scratching people's cars, aren't they? There's no more dickless than scratching somebody's car. Carl Froch told me that. Carl Froch told me that about after he won the British title. He said, you know what, Porky? There's no more dickless than somebody scratching a man's car. And he's right, you know. You have to go see him, don't you? And what will be, will be. We all drop bollocks, don't we? I've got to put it on people and I've got smoked. <laughs> oh, it's life, isn't it? But I'm going to burn your factory down. Oh, my God. You've been taking my pizza and kebab shop leaflets out of mailbox. Costing me money to get it a new mailbox, eh? Master criminal. But voices are still going. Shout out to Diana Leeds, big porky fan. Shout out to Paul Cross, the Scouser. How are you doing? One of the only Scousers that likes me. So, shout out to Smido. How are you doing, Smido? Still changing shitty nappies. Hope you're well. Shout out to my good personal friend of mine, Frank Smith in Berry. How are you doing, Frank? Not heard from you for a couple of days. Hope you're well. Shout out to Peter Fury. Thanks for that text yesterday, Peter. I hope you're doing well. Nice to hear that Yui's hand is okay. A lot of people give me a lot of stick, don't they, regarding Yui. And I can understand that when he's not throwing that right hand, is he? In ring. Maybe I don't hammer Yui as much on videos, I don't know. But what I will say is that whenever I've seen Yui spar, he's always looked a million dollars. He never gets it. He never gets it. His footwork is... Well, we know him and Tyson's footwork's off at charts, isn't it? It's the massive on footwork in that gym, aren't they? It's, I think it's something that Peter drills into him. Very defensive, I understand that. Uh, it'd take a brave person to go to Peter though and say, have you thought about uh, bringing somebody in to be an offense, to fight for your fighters to fight offense? I don't think they need that. But I think the main thing is, and the good thing is, nobody has ever been dropped, have they, with Peter in corner on the night? <laughs> nobody. You, show, you can show me footage of any of Peter's fighters getting dropped, because they just don't get dropped, do they? They've got it off as a fine art. I would like to see Yui throw more right hands. Uh, I would like to see him throw more right hands. Uh, I don't think that's 
I don't think that's a harsh thing to say. Uh, some people can say, "Oh, it's a bit harsh there, Brokey." No, I'd, I'd like to see. I'd like to see you with throw more right hands. I don't. I don't think that's being harsh, is it? It's only today, isn't it, for Feb? Uh, that's, that's what I want to see. So, it's a good fighter, though, Yui. Still ranked. Plenty of time though, isn't there? People keep saying, oh, he's running out of time and that, and chances. What, 25 year old? <coughs> Dave Allen's 28, isn't he? Dave Allen. He's on Sky again. So, he gets a bit of stick, Dave, doesn't he? I've given him a bit of stick myself, but he keeps plodding on. you got to keep plodding on, haven't you? You ain't got to let this boxing bubble get to you, because one day it'll all be over, won't it? For fighters it will be. Won't be for me though, will it? Unless I get a bullet in back head. And I doubt that, now that we've got Jim Pye on board. <laughs> so... But now it's all... It's all good, isn't it? It's all good stuff, isn't it? It's all good stuff. Should we get Dennis a ring? When the sun shines, it shines together. Oh, my God, I'll be there forever. Let's have a look. No wonder I've got him in my phone as Ron Lyle. Ron Lyle. Thinks he's Ron Lyle, doesn't he? Very good dancing machine. Welcome to the O2 <laughs> The person you're calling is unable to take your call. Maybe in a meeting. Your message after the tone. To re-record your message, key hash at any time. Dennis, it's Russell. Uh, let me know what time I'm seeing you today regarding that for show. I can't say on phone because I'm filming here. But just let me know what time you're seeing, you're seeing me. And uh, that went well over day, so can you give me a ring back? Alright. So put your smoothie down and give me a ring. Alright? Peace out. Sat in a coffee shop, won't we? A smoothie and a costa. Just waking up. And then Dennis attacks the day, doesn't he? <laughs> On a smoothie. He attacks the day on a smoothie. I wonder what it's like to run multiple million pound businesses on a smoothie. Hey. Because he's not work, is it? It's just head work, isn't it? Meetings, 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 figures, problems, people ringing up, saying you better, you better get rid of Porky. Don't ring Dennis and tell him they're going to burn his officers down, would they? <laughs> Hey, I don't know. Like I said, it's a society problem, isn't it? You know, I'm gonna take your car off you. What's that email I got the other day? I'm gonna take your car off you. Well, I'm insured. I'm gonna take your gold chain off you. I'm insured if I get mugged. I'm gonna take your watch off you. You can take it. I'm insured. What else? I can't. What was well, something else? Somebody said something else as well. Some. Like my daughter or something. Do sure. you know what? Things are going really well for the channel now. And I don't know. Give people more respect if they come and say I didn't like that video. Two boxers have told me I didn't like that video, so we're fair enough. They've got more respect for me now than they ever had. And every boxer should be respected, shouldn't they? When you've got Peter Fury and you put Peter Fury in helmets at month and he says he's not bothered. Not good. Eh? Other people have a problem with it, don't they? So but what can you do? 
I wonder who's going to be Elmer a month this month. So far, I've had a lot of votes for Coogan. It's a shame, isn't it, really? It's a shame, but everything that I said about Umar, he'd be making a grovelling apology. Uh, any day, and he did, didn't he? What did he say about Tyson Fury on crack or something? So what? Tyson were a raging cokehead, wasn't he? Tell him I said that. Tell him I said that. Yeah, he's sending me text messages that long, direct messages that long. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. That's when you've got a problem. I've been there myself, but he's turned his life around. Any people should get behind him. But. I suppose when when Omar sent that, it was 2016 and you were going through a bad time. But like I said, he was sparring at Peter's 2016 when it was my birthday because I went through with Dave Allen and Robin Reed. And he, he, uh, he was sparring then. He wasn't moving like he normally moves, but he was just going there to help Peter out with some sparring for Consheenan and Huey, but obviously you, you were partying him on here at the time. But and we are all allowed to go through that phase. I think we should all be allowed to go through it personally. But what can you do? What can you do? Shout out to Worldbreaker Fighting. I want you to give him a follow. Give that gentleman from Dublin a follow as well. The Irish gentleman, Bernard. You know, he's a Tyson fan. Can't stop people being a fan of somebody. Sometimes you get a bit deluded. I've been there myself with Carl Froch, and I. But sometimes I just want to have it about the Ward fight. But when you come down to it, Ward beat him, didn't he? And we can hold on to the fact that the judges had it by two rounds, two of them. But if you break the actual rounds down, then judges were right. If you break the fight down, see what Ward does. He scores a couple of. You what, mate? Oh right, oh. all these round here blocking roads, aren't they? Should be ashamed of the centre. That snooker player, do you know the one who grasps Ronnie O'Sullivan up? His dad lives there. What's he called now? Sean Murphy. He's snooker grass, isn't he? He's the he's the players' association representative or something, isn't he? He's, uh, he's the one that goes around reporting them all for having parties in their hotel rooms. Put Ronnie O'Sullivan in, didn't he? You'd be surprised what I get to know. I've actually met Sean Murphy and he was like a gentleman, very humble and, you know, he's a goody-goody and all that, isn't he? But he was going around telling ta <laughs> he was telling tales on them all. <laughs> I'm not going to say who Ronnie were, what they were doing, because it's none of that. Because they denied it, hadn't they? But he was going around telling them all, telling, he was going, telling, telling on them. And it looks like Ronnie O'Sullivan's told him to get effed, did not he? And said he's just going to play in tournaments when he wants. I mean, at the end of the day, Ronnie's going to be like that, isn't he? Because his old man's done a life sentence. So they've, they've got a bit of, they've got a bit of edge about them, haven't they? O'Sullivan's. He's, his, his father's a bit tasty, isn't he? And, uh, you know, they know people and that. They're not going to have people telling tales <laughs> on them, are they? But, sort of, per kind of person does that with your colleague? Because you'd class them as colleagues, wouldn't you? But, I look at Sean Murphy a bit different now. You know, because even though he's from here, where I live, I look at, I look at him differently now he's gone and done that. We know I'm grassing on them all. Fuck you know. Wheeler. Wee wee. Sunny today, man, I swear to God. Proper sun. Look at that. But it's all good positive stuff in it, eh? Can we do a video about today? I think we'll have a few people on the phone today because I can't be bothered writing scripts out. I just prefer to ask questions. What I'm looking to do with the channel now, I'm going to have set days and set times. Alright, so I've got a schedule. So a lot, a lot of things are out of my hand now. It's, uh, I don't have a, I can't just make, say we're going to do this or do that. 
It's I have to. Uh, there's meetings and all. What are you going through on red for, you stupid old fool? I only I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> uh, I can't just say I'm going to do this and do that with a channel now. There's they have to have meetings and stuff like that. So um, they they want me to have a schedule. So what we're going to do? We're going to pick certain days from now on when we do certain things. So I can't just do all stuff off cuff and. You know, we'll go to petrol station at middle of the night with some milk and do a video. I can't do that now. Uh, not that I'm going all company, man. Because if it gets like that, I'll just throw toys out of pram, won't I? But I can't just, I can't just do what I want now. So what I want to do, I want to have three days a week. We're going to start it at two days a week. I'm going to pick a couple of people. But you have to stick to your time. If you can't stick to your time, I can't have you on. Because I've got to have, it's got to be repetitive and I forgot, I don't know what the word is now. I've got to be repetitive and it's got to be consistent. Whoa, back end kicking out there. It'd be oil on road. Well, we're a close one. Uh, so that's how we're going to do it. So. I'm trying to think now we can have on who's going to come on at least once a week. I know Smiddo's up for it. Somebody else once a week, probably Dale, but they've got to stick to these times. If you don't stick to these times, I can't have you on. You can't be seeing, you can't be chopping and changing that. I don't mind that I've put up with it for that long, Anna, but these are not going to put up with that. It's got to be a certain time so that people know on say Wednesday at 3 p.m. so and so is going to be ringing in and then that person can build his own profile up and that's how it's going to work. I tried it with Dennis and that but I can't pin him down so Dennis jog on I'll have you on when I can have you on but I need a couple of people regular so alright there's a list I'm going to go through but I'm going to ring these people today and I'm going to say look you've got to stick to these times alright that's how it's going to work so like I said I can't be I, I can only put things to people who are backing me now and it's up to what, them what they think now but I've got to have a structure, alright? I ain't got no structure in my life whatsoever but my backers want me to have a structure now and partners, there's all sorts of things going off and it's what I've always wanted so I'm in a very, very, very fortunate position and I know that so so we're going to have a couple of people on. I might even have it up it to two or three. It's not in again, man. Have a look. Back here. So that's how we're going to do it, alright? So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>